Welcome to Mastering Solutions. The first part of this question asks us how long the dog was moving at the slower speed, and then they want us to convert this graph from this position versus time graph to a velocity versus time graph. So starting out with the first part, A, the slope of the line is what indicates the velocity. So obviously we have the more shallow slope here indicating it's gonna be moving slower. And then even though it's going down more, the velocity is greater for this last portion of the graph, even though it's a negative velocity. The negative portion indicates the direction, not necessarily meaning that it's less than here. It's moving faster in this section. So for the first part, when it changes, it's at A, so it moves at the slower speed for eight seconds. And now for part B, what we have to do is we have to figure out what the the velocity is for this section and for this section. If you remember, whenever we find the slope of something, the slope is always equal to the rise over the run. So if we look at this first section, the rise is it's going down two. So we have negative two meters. And then the run is it's from zero to eight seconds as we already found. So that is a positive eight seconds. Now, if you look at this, I put the units on purpose because it helps us see that we're trying to find the velocity and now we have meters per second. So we know that we've done this correctly interpreting the graph. Now we can plug this into the calculator or we could just simplify it. It's gonna be a negative one fourth or it's going to be 0.25 meters per second. One fourth is a negative 0.25 meters per second, as we just said. So the first velocity is negative 0.25 meters per second for the slower speed for the dog. And then the second part is going from four to zero. So we'll say this is V1 and then this is V2. So we have a negative four meters, but this is faster. It's only in two seconds. So two seconds, so that can be simplified again to a negative two over one, which equals negative two meters per second. So now that we have the velocities, now we can draw the graph. Okay, so I put the velocity versus time graph here. So here we'll have V and that is gonna be in meters per second. And over here it is velocity versus time. So time and that's in seconds, of course. So the time will say the same. We'll, we'll have two, four, six, eight, and 10. I'll just put 10 there and two. And then obviously this is zero right here. And we'll say one and two and negative one and negative two. Okay, so we have our velocity versus time graph. And now we just have to plot this. And so we have a negative 0.25 meters per second. So that's about right here. And it moves all the way to eight seconds. So we have the flat line indicating that it's moving at a constant velocity. Doesn't mean it's standing still because a velocity versus time graph indicates it's moving at the same speed. And then it jumps all the way down here to a negative two meters per second for two seconds. So here is our velocity versus time graph for part B and for part A it was eight seconds moving at the slower speed.